Hello guys, my name is Johan. I am learning microtic and the best way to learn to explain things to someone. The goal of this video is to set up a cloud hosted router in Oracle cloud environment and maybe in next video set up a, a private VPN which I'm going to use uh, to overcome local authorities uh, internet traffic screening uh, from, uh, from uh, the country of residence and also to overcome these days even the country to which I'm connected most of the websites have also geolocation detection enabled and uh, the restrict foreign IP addresses access so this is basically my goal let's begin this is my first uh, YouTube video uh, please correct me in comments if I'm wrong in some uh, aspects and also if the content is too fast or too slow if there are any mistakes what improvements can I take please add it in comments thank you okay let's navigate to Oracle Cloud I have already an account but you can sign up here with your email account uh, mobile telephone number and uh, credit card as usual with all these cloud services all right we have set up an account during the account setup we set up a tenancy domain name and uh, assign it to a geographical region basically just to explain you what the tenancy is it is like a root level of your enterprise of your organization this is the level where your root admin account is sitting and uh, with Oracle Cloud, when you set up a free tire, you need to set up a geographical region right away. And uh, with the free tire, you're fixed to one region. It's not like with uh, Amazon Cloud. Here you have only one region. Once you set it up with free tire, you cannot change it. If you want to change it, you will need to subscribe, uh, pay for subscription. And to continue from left to right, here we have uh, our profile so basically which is the uh, root level profile uh, user here you can change the languages here you have uh, help uh, access to documentation you can create ticket chat with uh, support and access forums documents alerts announcements and here you also have uh, your cloud shell and at the moment we don't have any uh, any any other uh, th things set up basically you will uh, just access, access the root level here and the network also we don't have any networks at the moment so you will be able to access only the public network which is the top level of this one and uh, the dashboard okay here to continue from left to right dashboard uh, here you have the key statistics of your portal uh, we have uh, 250 of euros uh, credit and we didn't utilize anything uh, uh, here get started you will have quick start links uh, which Oracle has selected for you to, to get started to get quick access to things that they believe you will need and on the top levels, uh, level service links also from left to right here the Oracle has selected some links that they believe are important for you like logging tenancy which we already mentioned without the tenancy you cannot proceed buckets which is uh, object uh, storage which you will require if you will start to upload some files to your cloud storage and then also recently visited uh, short links and uh, here uh, already some, some, some links that I have already accessed and pinned so you can also some, pin some uh, tasks uh, some, some, uh, uh, some menu levels that you would like to access and that you don't want to search for to access the main menu you click on those sticks and then you can pin items to your dashboard I will pin uh, identity and security virtual networking bucket object storage and uh, instances this is where you basically create your virtual machines now when you go back to your uh, dashboard you will see pinned uh, menu items unlike Amazon uh, Oracle doesn't have a microtic custom image 
So we will need to create this image and before we can begin we need to upload the files to, to a storage and we will need to create a bucket to be able to do so. Uh, here I have already created a compartment but you can uh, leave defaults. We give the storage uh, bucket any friendly name and uh, rest will leave uh, by defaults. We upload files to the bucket storage. Here we have this upload function. We can create subfolders, but we don't need to. We select uh, upload. Uh, give it any uh, friendly name. And uh, just drop the file here, so which we can download from the Microtic website. Software downloads clustered hosted router, and we will need VMDK image. So I have already downloaded version 7, which I am going to take and drop to the storage and uh, upload files. So the upload process started. The upload process completed. We have our image now. Uh, now we can uh, go to custom images and uh, create a custom image. Import image. We select a Linux operating system. Bucket is already selected. We select the file. Give the file any, any friendly name. and uh, the rest will leave by default. Import image. So the image uh, has been accepted by the system and the importing process will start. It will take time. So our image is created. We can see it here. It's available now. Now we can go back to our storage and delete uh, the files. If you, if you need it, you can also keep it, but it's no longer required since we already have the image. Now we are ready to create the virtual machine in instances. Create an instance. Uh, we can give it any name. Placement will leave by default uh, in free tire. Security will leave default. Image shape. We need to change Oracle Linux to our custom image, which we have just created. Networking. We don't have any network at the moment, so we don't have any other choice than to create new network. Private network subnet and uh, okay IP address we can change or leave by default public IP address we will require a public IP address so we'll keep it SSH key uh, Microtic says that uh, you don't need a SSH key because uh, uh, the image already has one, so we will select no. Previously I selected yes and uh, it was giving me some problems. Uh, uh, Oracle was warning me that the SSH key has been uh, replaced. And the rest we keep uh, by default. Create image. So image creation has been accepted and it will take some time to create the image. The image has been created uh, and it is running now. We can see public IP address and private IP address. And now we really need to be very quick. We select it and we go to networking, subnet, security lists. And we can see now that our uh, port 22 is open for the entire internet 
and we need to block it quickly before anyone can access our router with the default password done we need to do the same for uh, winbox we'll create a connection tcp ip connection here is our winbox port destination done now we can test connection to our router so we copy its ip address start winbox connect and change password Now we add one more admin user. And disable the existing user. IP services and uh, we disable anything that we don't need done system uh, identity change the name completed Okay, license upgrade in systems, uh, licenses, and you go to renewal, change to P1, enter your account credentials uh, from Microtic that you can uh, just uh, create here, <coughs> and then start, renewal done, close, and then you have a license for 60 days. Uh, here you will see the license tires we have upgraded to this one to one gigabit 45 dollars trial license which is valid for 60 days and thereafter it will continue to work uh, but uh, with uh, no eligibility for upgrades okay some more steps uh, we go back to oracle cloud and here in oracle cloud we select our uh, fully configured instance And then uh, we create a custom image out of the uh, customized uh, image that we already customized. And uh, during this process, the volume will be taken down and we will create a custom image so that image we will be able to use uh, for any other purposes like if the machine fully crashes or if there is a misconfiguration we will be able to restore it from this customized image and we will avoid uh, the need to uh, go through the configuration process over and over again Okay, our VM is up and running, but I think we restricted inbound uh, rules too much. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm not so good in networking yet, but you can correct me in comments if, uh, if I may be incorrect. So here is the access rule. And here is our SSH, which we have limited only to public IP address. I think we need to, to add uh, TCP. 
we need to unrestrict local subnet okay completed okay now we can go to cloud shell which has uh, loaded now we can maybe change to a private uh, network here uh, add a private network uh, then we can select uh, the private network users active i think that's it create close connecting to this network okay now we connected uh, to private network now we can try to ssh to our uh, router and we are connecting the router is responding it's asking for the password and we are in this is uh, the end of my video so uh, just add in comments what you think about the content uh, because uh, this was my first video in the next video i'm going to set up a private vpn if you have any suggestion any advice which vpn is better and what is the best approach to set up it uh, please also text me in the comments. Thank you.